The military history of Goguryeo involves wars with other Korean kingdoms, Chinese dynasties, nomadic states, and tribes, and was Japan. Goguryeo was a highly militaristic state, it was a powerful empire and one of the great powers in East Asia, until it was defeated by a Silatang alliance in 668 after prolonged exhaustion and internal strife caused by the death of Yun Gaesaman. Goguryeo and Bikj were two of the three kingdoms of Korea, both claimed descent from the ancient Korean kingdom of Bio. Ajo, the founder of Bikj, was said to be the second son of Jamun, the founder of Goguryeo. Despite the common ancestry, the relationship between Goguryeo and Bikj was often contentious. During the 4th century, Jung Chogo expanded Bikj's territory to the north at the expense of Goguryeo. In 369, Gagakwan, the monarch of Goguryeo, attacked Bikj with 20,000 troops, but was defeated by Crown Prince Jungusu at the Battle of Chiyang. In 371, Jungusu led 30,000 troops and attacked the fortress of Pyongyang, slaying Gagakwan in battle. Bikj was a powerful maritime nation whose influence extended across the sea to Liaoxi and Shandong in China, taking advantage of the weakened state of former Qin and Kyushu and the Japanese archipelago. Gogokian, a son of Gagakwan, invaded Bikj in 386. In 392, Guangido the Great led an attack on Bikj with 40,000 troops, capturing 10 walled cities. In response, Hassan, the monarch of Bikj, launched a counterattack on Goguryeo in 393 but was defeated. Asin invaded Goguryeo once more in 394, but was defeated again. After suffering multiple defeats against Goguryeo, Bikj's political stability began to crumble. In 395, Bikj was defeated once more by Goguryeo and was pushed south to its capital of Wairaesiang on the Han River. In the following year, in 396, Guangito led an assault on Wairaesiang by land and sea, using the Han River, and triumphed over Bikj. Guangido captured the Beach capital and the defeated Asin submitted to him, surrendering a prince and ten government ministers. Henceforth, Beach lost its dominance in the central Korean peninsula and declined. In 400, Silla requested aid from Goguryeo in repelling an allied invasion by Beach, Gaia, and Wan. Guangido dispatched 50,000 troops and annihilated the enemy coalition. In 433, Beach and Silla formed an alliance, Hamgul, Hanja, to balance the Goguryeo threat to the north. In 472, Garo, the ruler of Beach, requested a military alliance with Northern Wei against Goguryeo, but was unsuccessful. In 475, Jamsu, the son of Guangyo, launched an invasion by land and sea against Beach and captured the capital of Wairaesiang and executed Garo. Beach had no choice but to move its capital to Mountain Asungjin, present-day Ganju, 80 miles to the south, which provided a natural protection for the devastated kingdom. In 479, Beak and Silla reaffirmed their alliance through marriage, which was the primary reason why Goguryeo was unable to conquer the entire peninsula. In 551, a Beak Silla alliance attacked Goguryeo in order to capture the important Han River region from Goguryeo, planning to split it between them. In 553, Beak gained the critical region after expending itself with a series of costly assaults on Goguryeo fortresses, but Silla troops, arriving on the pretense of offering assistance, attacked the exhausted beach troops and took possession of the entire Han River region, leading to a war between the two former allies in which the Beach monarch was killed. Beach attacked Silla in 612, 624, and 627. Goguryeo and Beach formed an alliance, Hongul, Hanja, in 642 aimed toward territorial restoration against Silla. King Weijo of Beach attacked Silla and captured around 40 strong points in 642, and seven more fortresses in 645, in 655, the Goguryeo Beach Alliance captured 30 fortresses from Silla. In 245, Dongchen ordered an attack on Silla, but the two kingdoms entered into friendly relations in 248. Nelji, the king of Silla, who had been a vassal of Jiangsu, broke off relations with Goguryeo in 454. Jiangsu invaded Silla in 468, expanding his domain into parts of Gangwon province, and again in 489 capturing seven walled cities and expanding his domain into parts of North Jiangsang province. Silla emerged as a major player in the Korean peninsula after its betrayal of Beach and conquest of the Han River region from Goguryeo in 553, but Goguryeo and Beach apply political, military, and economic pressure against Silla. In 643, under attack by the Goguryeo Beach Jalites, the Silla court dispatched Qin Chu and Chu to the Tang dynasty to request military assistance, leading to Emperor Taizong's campaign against Goguryeo. In 660, 
Goguryeo's ally, Beach, fell to the Silla Tang Alliance. The victorious allies continued their assault on Goguryeo for the next eight years but could not defeat Young Gaesaman. However, Young Gaesaman died of a natural cause and civil war ensued among his three sons, leading the Silla Tang Alliance to launch a fresh invasion. In November 668, King Bujin surrendered to the Silla Tang Alliance and Goguryeo finally fell. Goguryeo became a significant independent kingdom in the first century and began expanding its power in the region. Tijodi conquered neighboring Akjio and Donggi and made repeated attacks against the Chinese commanderies and incursions until Yaodong, which would be continued by his successors. In 244, Guangqi Jian, a general of Han's successor state Xiaowei, defeated Dongxin and briefly occupied and sacked Goguryeo's capital. Wei invaded again in 259 but was defeated at Yangmengok. According to the Samgoksagi, Junction assembled 5,000 elite cavalry and defeated the invading Wei troops, beheading 8,000 enemies. As Goguryeo extended its reach into the Liaodong Peninsula, the last Chinese commandery at Leong was conquered and annexed by Michin in 313, bringing the remaining northern part of the Korean peninsula into the fold. This conquest resulted in the end of Chinese rule over territory in the northern Korean peninsula, which had spanned 400 years. During the winter of 342, the Xianbei of former Yan, ruled by the Murong clan, attacked and destroyed Goguryeo's capital, Wando, capturing 50,000 Goguryeo men and women to use as slave labor in addition to taking the queen mother and queen prisoner and exhuming the body of Michin, and forced Gagakuan to flee for a while. The Xianbei also devastated Bio in 346, accelerating Bio migration to the Korean peninsula. In 385, Gogokian, the son of Gagakwan, invaded and defeated later Yen, the successor state of former Yen. In 400, the Xianbei state of later Yen, founded by the Murong clan in present day Liaoning, attacked Goguryeo. Guangido the Great repulsed the enemy troops. In 402, Guangito retaliated and conquered the prominent fortress called near the capital of later Yen. In 405 and again in 406, later Yen troops attacked Goguryeo's fortresses in Liaodong. In 405, and in 406, but was defeated both times. Guangito conquered all of Liaodong. By conquering Liaodong, Guangito recovered the ancient domain of Gojosian. Goguryeo controlled Liaodong until the mid late 7th century. In 589, the northern and southern dynasties period ended and the Sui dynasty unified China after four centuries of fragmentation. The Sui Empire reconquered Vietnam and defeated Kampa, sacking its capital and conquered important lands in northern China and Central Asia against Turks, Tibetans, and Proto-Mongolians. In 598, Goguryeo made a preemptive attack on Liaoxi, leading Emperor Wen to launch a counterattack by land and sea that ended in disaster for Sui. In 612, Emperor Yang mobilized a huge force said to number over a million men and invaded Goguryeo. Unable to overcome the defenses of Yodong, Liaoduang, fortress, Emperor Yang ordered 305,000 troops to attack the Goguryeo capital of Pyongyang. However, General Yuji Mundiak baited the Sui troops and annihilated them at the Battle of Selsu. According to Chinese historical records, of the 305,000 Sui troops, a mere 2,700 returned. Emperor Yang lifted his siege of the Korean fortress and withdrew his forces back to China. Emperor Yang was obsessed with defeating Goguryeo. He attacked Goguryeo again in 613 and 614, but failed against Goguryeo's defensive strategies, fierce resistance, and able leadership. Furthermore, his campaign in 613 was cut short by internal discontent and floods back home. Emperor Yang's disastrous defeats in Korea greatly contributed to the collapse of the Sui dynasty. Emperor Taizong ascended the Tang throne in 626 and led many successful military campaigns. In 630, Emperor Taizong defeated the Eastern Turk Akaganate, an ally of Goguryeo, bringing much of Central Asia under Tang control. He then conquered the Darin Basin and defeated the Tibetan Empire in 640. In 643, Queen Si and Deke of Silla requested military aid against the Goguryeo Beach Alliance. Tang forged an alliance with Silla, and began preparations for a major campaign against Goguryeo in 644. In 645, Emperor Taizong personally led a campaign against Goguryeo by land and sea with 113,000 Tang troops plus an unspecified number of tribal auxiliaries. His noted army captured a number of Goguryeo border fortresses, including the Pond Yodong, Eliadung, fortress, which had repulsed Emperor Yang in 612 and 613. Arriving outside Ansi Fortress on July 18, 
Emperor Taizong prepared to meet an approaching relief army, said to number 150,000 men, in battle. Emperor Taizong ordered Li Qiji to bait the Koreans with 15,000 troops, while Zhang Sun Wuji's concealed troops would ambush them from behind. On the following day, the two sides clashed and Emperor Taizong inflicted a crushing defeat on the confused Koreans, inflicting 20,000 casualties and capturing 36,800 prisoners. Emperor Taizong then laid siege to Anxi Fortress, his troops attacked the Korean fortress as many as six or seven times per day, but were repelled each time by the defenders. Unable to breach the Adaman fortress despite months of siege, Tang eventually staked everything on the construction of a huge mound, designed to tower over the walls of the fortress, however, the defenders captured and successfully held the mound despite three days of frantic assaults by Tang troops. Furthermore, exacerbated by worsened conditions for the Tang army due to cold weather, and winter approaching, and diminishing provisions, Emperor Taizong was compelled to order a withdrawal from Goguryeo on October 13, but left behind an extravagant gift for Yan Manchuan, the commander of Anxi Fortress. Emperor Taizong attacked Goguryeo again in 647 and 648, but was unsuccessful. Defeating Goguryeo had been an obsession with Emperor Taizong, and after his death in 649, his son Emperor Gaezong continued his ambition. Upon the suggestion of Kim Chuanchu, the Silla Tang Alliance first conquered Bikjin 660 to break up the Goguryeo Bikj Alliance, and then turned its full attention to Goguryeo. However, Emperor Gaezong, too, was unable to defeat Goguryeo led by Yun Gaesaman. One of Yun Gaesaman's most notable victories came in 662 at the Battle of Sasu, where he annihilated the Tang forces and killed the invading general Pang Syatai and all 13 of his sons. Hence, while Yun Gaesaman was alive, Tang could not defeat Goguryeo. In 666, though dates vary from 664 to 666, young Gaesaman died of a natural cause in a civil war ensued among his three sons. His eldest son and immediate successor, young Namsang, defected to Tang and provided the secrets and weaknesses of Goguryeo to Emperor Gaezong, and played a critical role in the next invasion and downfall of Goguryeo. Young Gaesaman's second son, young Namjin, resisted in the face of death, as opposed to his brother's treachery, and fought until the very end. Meanwhile, young Gaesaman's younger brother, young Gianto, defected to the Silla side. The Tang Silla alliance mounted a fresh invasion of Goguryeo in 667, aided by the defector young Namsang, and in 668, finally vanquished the divided kingdom, which had been plagued by violent dissension, numerous defections, and widespread demoralization following the death of young Gaesaman. Silla thus unified most of the Korean peninsula in 668 but the kingdom's reliance on Tang China had its price. Tang China attempted to impose its rule over the entire Korean peninsula, but Silla, aided by Goguryeo and Beak refugees, forcibly resisted and expelled Tang. However, Silla's unification of the three kingdoms of Korea was short-lived because the former Goguryeo general Dae Joyeon led remnants of Goguryeo, united with the Moha people, and established Balhi, a successor of Goguryeo. Balhi eventually reconquered and retained much of Goguryeo's former territory. Balhi became a powerful empire like its predecessor, but its eventual end came at the hands of the Khitan Empire in 926. Balhi's end was a decisive event in Northeast Asian history for it was the last Korean kingdom to hold territory in Manchuria. Goguryeo was revived once more in 918 by successor state Goryeo, founded by Wang Jian, a descendant of Goguryeo nobility. In 937, much of the ruling class and the last crown prince of collapsed Balhi fled to Goryeo, where he was warmly welcomed and included into the ruling family by Wang Jian, thus unifying the two successor nations of Goguryeo. In 395, Gwangido the Great invaded the Khitan Bailey clan to the west on the Liar River, destroying three tribes in 600 to 700 camps. In 398, Gwangido conquered the Susan people to the northeast, who were Tungozak ancestors of the Jurchens and Manchus. In 479, Jiangsu invaded the Khitans, and then attacked the Dodoyu with his roaring allies. In 404, Gwangido defeated an attack by the Wa from the Japanese archipelago on the southern border of what was once the Daifang Commandery, inflicting enormous casualties on the enemy.